Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. I think today we're going to work on another one of these Buick Roadmasters. Look familiar? This one luckily has a clear windshield. Thank baby Jesus. Finally, I can have some freedom to do whatever I want with this thing. So I think we're going to add another one to our little mini hot rod collection here. And I wanted to get a little bit fancy with this. Um, basically, I want to do like a Mexican blanket candy on the roof of this thing. And kind of low rider this out a little bit, if you know what I mean. So it's going to be a lot of taping again, and I'm not sure how I'm going to film it because I can't really move everything into the spray booth. So yeah, Buick Roadmaster, this thing's kind of crusty. I found it when I was just digging through our bins here. I didn't even know I had it, so hell yeah. I'm going to get this drilled and stripped of paint. Brrr. Look at that chuck wobble. This old drill's got a lot of miles on it. Oh, yeah, there's that little Argo interior again. B. Plastic base, boring. Boring. We're missing some paint here on the front, so I'm going to have to do something with that. I'd like to keep it chrome, if possible, rather than painting it. Sweet liberty. I got the jar all cleaned up here, because let's be honest, it was nasty. Now it's nice and fresh. Bleep, 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 bleep. Have a good time in the spa, man. So my plan is, is to uh, coat our car here in the silver sealer. And then I'm going to give it a good clear coating. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven and we're going to have to come back and we're going to sand that clear coat. Just to scuff it up a little bit. And then we're going to start doing some fancy colors. So we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Bloop. Maybe we should try not putting these flakes back into the jar. Wouldn't that be smart? Look at this dude. Got some paint chips. I got. Oh, you know what? I got a red scotch braid today. Back in business. Ah. Welcome back, Red Scotch Bright. I've missed you so much better. See if I can't clean up some of these body lines. They're always so nasty on these models, especially in this area. Just this side's not bad actually. This can be a very heavy painting episode today. Just gotta get this cleaned up enough to get a nice coat of that silver sealer on there, and then this will probably be a beautiful sparkly silver once that stuff's on there. I'm gonna start doing some colors. Old Buick, total lowrider theme, especially with these little grills. Bump, 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 bump. This is the other one I saw on Instagram where I was like, holy smokes, you know, it's beautiful. We're not going that extreme, obviously. The scale would be like ridiculous, but ours is gonna be more of a motorcycle tank style paint job. But um, yeah, man. That is super pimp. I really like that. That looks like a legitimate blanket, actually. The detail is incredible on that one. Do, do, do. Big, huge line on the trunk. Can't have that. Blender in. So I got our body lines all cleaned up here. I think she's going to be real nice once we get that silver on there, especially once we clear coat. I'm going to go ahead and jump in the spray booth. I'll probably do a light coat of primer, just a real light one. And then we'll come in with the silver sealer. I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's really cool. And we can proceed, okay? So I'll be right back. I'll meet you in the spray booth.
So I sanded this uh, rough edge of this chrome a little bit just so that it smooths out. I think I'm going to just try Molotow pen these things. You got to put on a pretty wet coat. Ah, yeah, this one's better already. Hell yeah, so I'm going to keep on keeping on here and get all these little dented up areas and we'll just get this thing flossed right up. Look at that man, beautiful man. This liquid chrome I've been um, speed curing in my paint oven as well. It works really good. So I think everyone should get themselves a little paint oven. Two light bulbs. That's all you need. I have mine wired into a fancy uh, bathroom timer switch. So you just push the button. You can pick 15 minutes. You can pick four hours. Actually, mine only goes to two hours. If this dries just like this, I'll be happy. Hell yeah, man. Look at that sealer. Isn't that stuff amazing? It's like laying down aluminum flake. Uh, I got a brand new sheet of my little vinyl strips. This is what they look like when they're new. These are printed out for me by a buddy of mine. He's a subscriber of the channel. These are all the little circle pieces that I use to mask those wheel wells off. Super handy. And then I have all these different sizes of stripes. I'm not sure if Andy has them up on the Thingiverse page yet, but I updated the descriptions in all the videos. So the Thingiverse link is now in the description right now. You'll see all the files that Andy has posted for the 3D printing stuff so far. Get my little tray out here. Do, 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 do. And we're going to use a little bit of 2000 grit just to scuff this bad boy up a little bit. She's smooth as glass, but it's going to help her candy stick really well. If you haven't visited the description lately, have a look down there. I got all kinds of links. Links to Andy's racing channel down there. There's Instagram for the racing channel. I don't know if there's anything posted on it, but there's all kinds of stuff down there. Hell yeah, this is probably good enough for what we are doing today. I'm being very light, especially on this, uh, these edges. It'd be really easy to sand through, so I'm just being real light. Just trying to take the shine off of this thing a little bit. So here's our car. She's scuffed a little bit. I'm going to try to leave all this silver sealer as the outline for our window trims and stuff. So for now, I'm not going to worry about that too much gonna start by masking off all this trim I think I'm gonna use these vinyl strips first just to really get a nice tight line here All right, now that we got the vinyl doing the outline of our roof, I'm going to tape off the rest of the car. So this is where the fun begins. All right, this is going to get fairly complicated. So I've got some black vinyl strips here as well, so I can kind of use them to keep my bearings here. So all these little spaces in between these black lines are going to be colors. So it could be like red, blue, yellow. So we got lots to do, lots of paint mixing and lots of spraying. So these black ones will be the, probably the last ones we're going to be taken off. So just to keep these down, I'm going to throw in a little bit of additional tape on there. Just so we don't have any issues with them lifting. So we're just going to anchor them like this. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to get some real itty bitty lines here. Maybe I'll grab some of these 0.4 millimeters and we will uh, throw in a couple of little itty bitty threads. So 
So I'm going to go through and I'm going to put two of these into each of these, if that makes sense. Let me straighten out this side. Something like that. All right, I've got her all vinyled up here. As you can see, it's starting to kind of look like a blanket, you know what I mean? So I'm going to secure these little ant legs on the side now. Make sure we don't lift up any of those. This is all eyeballed, so I don't know how well this is all going to work out, but this first one's perfect. Two stripes. Two stripes in between. All right, so basically I'm going to continue doing what I was doing. All the areas between the black tape, I'm going to fill with one mil strips of my silver tape. And then once this is completely done, we can start thinking about doing some paint. So let me just finish this up quick. All right, so here we are. Looking pretty absurd, isn't it? Yes. So basically what I'm going to be doing is how many colors can we do here? One, two, three, four, and then we'll do five for the outsides. So let's mix up five different colors of candy. Get five little cups. So between these five colors, we're gonna spread it out over this and hopefully it all makes sense at the end. And just for fun, I'm gonna color code the way I wanna do this right now. Magenta. That one's blue clearly and this one's green. All right. So that's basically what our pattern is going to be like. So uh, this is going to be intense. Let's go to the spray booth. Well, that was way more stressful than I thought. Actually, it wasn't. <laughs> it was pretty chill. Apparently, our little camera didn't have enough uh, focus to be able to get down below here like uh, like this one. So why don't we unwrap our package here? See what we got. I know it's probably hard for you guys to tell, but I was starting on the outside and then moving in and then slowly lightening up each time. Doop, 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 doop. That is the method. So sorry if the filming wasn't perfect on that. I'll have to... Uh, figure out how to get better focus moving forward but as you can see these candies I was drying them as I was going and taping right over them as I was going so look at it it's beautiful so keep in mind this isn't even clear coated yet so this is going to get kicked up a notch so uh, now I wanted to paint the main body here and I'm going to do an orange over this silver sealer, but it's going to be a bright orange. So this is going to be a real glossy looking beautiful, beautiful little thing. All right, we're all protected up here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray the rest of our car.
So I ended up going with something called Tequila Yellow. There it is, Createx Candy 2O. So this is gonna look gorgeous, I think. So I think I can go ahead and just pull this tape off here. I wanna get this thing clear coated because I can't wait to see it, to be honest. Beam, 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 beam. If this isn't an advertisement for what Createx colors can do, I don't know what is. Instagram is gonna love this one. Oh, so far away from my face. Got to do a little bit of work to the base yet. Get my new wheels mounted and whatnot, but uh, we're not that far away from doing an assembly on this one. So I got some nice white walls and some chrome steelies. What do you think of that? I think that's gonna go real good. I just did some regular old axle tubes. I figured you guys have seen me do that a million times, so that's probably boring by now. Dude, look at this paint. All right, I'm gonna do a quick assembly and then we'll roll this bad boy out. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Holy jeebus, look at that thing. What a gorgeous little specimen this one is. Let's get it up on the rotisserie. Maybe we should revisit what our Buick Roadmaster looked like before. And now, O-M-G, Becky. Look at her butt. Damn, this thing is nice. <laughs> Woo! Look at that thing. What a beautiful little car. I plan on doing more custom paint jobs like this, so if you enjoy this kind of thing, consider subscribing. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you Monday. See you later, guys. Mm -mm.